Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to GameStar TV. It is the final round action of the first night of our first Paladins competition, and we thank you for your patience as we're getting through tonight's action. Round five action is going to take place between Abyss versus Avant Garde. It's a highlight match of the night. Over to your casters that we're going to start the match with Kid Fox <laughs> and Skimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, like he's and awkward. the producer has just lost it behind the scenes here thank yes thank you <laughs> ej we are back hopefully for uh, well i'll tell you what a uh, skimmy i just ordered some new uh some wallpaper it's it's frog Isle green oh very nice mate very nice that's it's lovely uh, definitely where you can go to relax and unwind after a hard day at work um, sure. Let's let's go with that if you want to reboot the lobby three times. But now, finally, <laughs> we've switched the map up. We're into round five. We're going to be bringing you Abyss versus Avant Guard. This one is sure to get spicy. Skibby, how do you see this one unfolding? Yeah, well, I mean, um, Hey D's, which I've been told is it's not Hades. I've been mispronouncing it all day. Hey D's is the correct uh, pronunciation for that one. And he was very confident when they versed uh, Avant Guard last time. So. I'm sure that sentiment hasn't really changed too much uh, as of late either. Well, yeah, we'll see what they can do. So if you have just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Game Start Hey Pal Paladin Summer 17 Swiss format. We're into round five. The winners of the last round, Empire Paladins. How's the um, table looking? Also, I meant to ask that in the intro. My apologies. Uh, the table, uh, well, of course, Abyss are sitting at the top. They are on four and zero, still yet to drop a game. Surprise, surprise. Kings closely following them in second with their victory over Avant Guard on the match that we just saw. AG and Instant Epidemic, as well as Empire Paladins, uh, well, and Corviday are all tied in the, in the third position on two and two, and Psionic on one and three, and Amigo still yet to pick up a win. They go up against Empire Paladins. We'll see if they can get themselves on the board here. But Skimmy, it's all about Abyss and Avant Guard. It really is. And I mean, it's, it's unfortunate we actually didn't get to cast um, Corviday, one of their players having issues with their computer. So they don't actually get any stream time this week around. But I'm sure they'll be uh, ready and rocking to go through for next week. Maybe the Frog Owls are just enough to actually DDoS and break their computer with the blue screen. But definitely, we're looking for this lobby to get underway very shortly. Abyss looking to get the clean sweep, finish the night 5-0 and, um, you know, carrying their momentum to justify their ranking. Well, absolutely. I mean, they fronted up to High res Expo over in the States, and they did a stellar job. I believe we're going to be on Frozen Guard now. So we'll see uh, We'll see if it's... A, uh, well, we hope that it's a lot different from Fog Island, that it's uh, not packed full of bugs. We we'll hope that they are ironed out, and we'll be able to bring you all of the eSports action here on GameStar, because I'm excited. It's, what, 10.30 here in Melbourne, which means it's, what, half past 12 across the pond there, Skimmy? It is. Zing, it's uh, well past my bedtime, so uh, you know we need to get this game ready and rolling. We can't afford to have six remakes of this lobby because I'll probably pass out, mate. Absolutely, and I've just got give me I'll resuscitate you. It's quite you cool. Keep going. I'll see you in two hours, mate. Amazing textures. How about that water? Anyway, we've just had the call come in from Agrotank, our marketing manager, that we are currently the second most viewed Paladin stream oh, in Twitch a... at the moment. How a... about that? <laughs> How Go about Oceania. That? Go OCE. Oz Esports here, standard deliver on GameStar. It's Avant Garde versus Abyss. Hopefully, Lionberg for the third time tonight will initiate the lobby. And uh, Skimmy, if you were a betting man, who would be the first champion you would pick? Well, um, there's this person that begins with an F, and um, I believe it's Fernando. Well, we're actually going to jump straight into the game, oh. it seems. I actually don't see any draft, but there is a Fernando present in the game, and there's also a Makoa. So as the drafting goes along, we can only assume they were picked up in quick succession. Absolutely. That's the first time I think we've seen. Uh, we've been sitting in queue waiting to spectate a match. And uh, and they've jumped straight in. But we're going to run through the teams on the left-hand side. That is Abyss. You recognize those big names from High Res Expo. That is Josh Kent. Hades, I still reckon it's Hades. I sat behind him at PAX, called him Hades the entire day, and he didn't blink. So it's Hades. Diggity Dog, Chronix, and Joel's are the other team members of Abyss. And over at the Avant Garde guys, of course, Akmo, Lionberg, Corland, Joey G, and Soch against Kimmy. <laughs> Frozen Guard, this is one we haven't seen before on GameStar. Get excited. 
Well, let's have a look. I mean, we started on a frozen map. We're going to finish on a frozen map. So if uh, our luck is uh, blessed, we started off pretty well. We'll finish off pretty well. And uh, let's not get too excited. I'm, I'm actually not going to say. You probably can already figure out what I'm going to say. So I won't carry on that one because I just want this game to get underway. I just want this one to work. And I want to go over these two different team comps. So if we look, there still is a high priority on this Kness. And they had a lot of success on it last time. Looking to really bring that through once more. Yeah, don't put the moz on it, mate. Don't put the commentator's curse on this map. Very, uh, very late in the game, we saw a pause, but luckily we were able to remedy that and finally get a result Five, in. But uh, Frog Isle's got a bit of a black three, mug over it two, for next week. We'll take that one into account. And thank you, viewers, for staying with us. Exclamation mark mug, if you haven't already, five seconds ticking away, Skimmy. We are on Frozen Gap. Absolutely, we are. And the biggest variation from what we saw in the last team comp is uh, Grover's being swapped out, or more Dumba, sorry, he's being swapped out for the, uh, for the Grover. Now, there's a lot more flanking champions this time to actually try and deal with the likes of Kinesta and what have you, but instantly the fight does break out. Evie, I mean, sorry, Evie, yeah, Kinesta's got herself situated in a nice little situation far at the back of this uh, all action in the mid lane right there. Josh Ken and Dive Dog. Actually, Dive Dog, big Grover. Look at him making the kills. As he picks up two of his own, four members all drop down like flies, and Charlin is looking to make plays on his own, but he is in the grave. Diggity diggity dog, he is, he was on fire there as the Grover, he managed to get himself around in the back line, camped out in the bush, and was just hocking axes onto the point from behind. And now we know what Abyss is good at, they're good at choking the enemy team in. We saw them do it in the map earlier on today on Jaguar Falls, and now they're doing it again. 84% on this point skinny. Knesset doing work at range, takes down Akmo. Huge, big, huge shot there from the goals. Yeah, I'm still watching Diggity Dog, watching what he can do on this support right now. Grow the many pumps at the heels, but also this is a definite strong map for him because he can sit there and he can wait for these members to run through that choke point. Such long, narrow map that they can just afford to sit there patiently. And he's, he spotted Charlotte on the flank right now. He's already got two big axes on top of him and instantly Charlotte's forced to retreat. Chronos has got the bombs. He's coming in flanking. He's actually buck on his retreat. Chronos has actually managed to get away. That beautiful blossom connects him, keeping the rest of that team alive as they push on through. This payload is making such a quick uh, quick race towards this bridge. It's already under the mainframe. It's going towards the spawn point now and they're just picking up kills left, right and centre. Akmo does get a uh, consolation prize. They're picking up Josh Kent. Corlan is now picking up a second, but diggity dog. Well, he's found one. He's looking for a second one. I mean, he's trying to be the solo carry. We do know it's pronounced Diggy Dog, but Diggity Dog is just way more fun to say. And he falls now, Corlin now takes him down. He's getting some kills here, is that uh, the old Shaolin? We've saw him do it earlier on uh, in the in the series, Skinny, on Shaolin. Topping the charts, the Danny charts, it must be said. Oh no, sorry. Just behind Kinesa and Cassie, who's also done great work there. Knockbacks, getting the snipes in the air as well. And we're gonna have to pass this one. Yeah, and there goes Blossom, or actually, sorry, Whirlwind coming around to keep everybody topped up as they mount this final assault. A minute left, they've got a lot of time to really um, sort of gather the composure and, uh, composure, sorry, and look for this uh, final push, and it's still moving, they're still going towards it. It is Fernando, it's Big Hades himself, the man that has the mispronunciations on that name. He's guiding it through, there is nobody to stop it, and that's an easy 2-0 for them to start things off. And it looks as though the tag team is going to come in, EJ. Yes. It's all yours. Oh, get some! So 2-0 is the uh, score, as Skimmy said there. Very strong by Abyss. It's the form they've showed all night, Skimmy. They've uh, gone through undefeated. They have dropped the odd round, and that'll help be interesting for and against-wise if it gets closer uh, later in the tournament. But uh, 15 seconds until we get this next round underway here. We could be in for a quick one tonight. We will wait and see. We'll get the players on afterwards as well, have a bit of a chat. Five, Draw the mug four, in the raffle if you haven't three. entered. Uh, exclamation mark mark in the twitch chat and uh, you've got a chance to win a mark round is underway uh skimmy take it away well indeed now if we look at the ultimate boards as we go straight into the second round of this map it's uh it's looking like headhunter is going to be the one to start things off he's got it ready at the moment he's got uh fernando ready with the immortal and also uh even with the snowstorm or the ice storm really uh, i should say ready to go and it's gonna be joel's that starts things off he gets the kill he takes up the sniper he takes up the tank he takes up mako it's gonna be pulling that return but joel picks up a second frag right now he takes up the sniping potential of but looking to jump into that back lane pull and finds another one he doesn't finally take out joel's having to do the flankers job before him he's finding great picks here but he's gonna yeah. be finally denied taken out by hades and they're gonna start mounting their assault on to this point well, it was a great start by Abyss there. They flanked hard right, not onto the point, and it drew the entire avant-garde team over to the right, and it was Evie who got on there and got it up to 12% to start off with. 
There's a bit of a retake at the point, Skimmy, but not enough to stop this Abyss team. They've got it down to 69, 72% now, and we have Avant-Garde going for one last push here to stop this match, and they've successfully pushed them off. They've got it up to 15. Oh. It could be a reverse, but uh, Captain K is pushing Yeah, in Joey Jean is between a rock Your and a hard place. He's just flanking it a little bit too hard there, really taking that uh, defined role name too seriously. And, uh, pays the price for that one. 84% EJ on this one for... Uh, the guys of the best they have forced retreat for the meantime because it looks like Avant Garde are mounting a strong retaliation in this card. They're going for 66% right now. They've got the rest of the members coming on in. They picked up two big frags, but Joel's rocks on up and he's going to dismantle that. He's taking out Akmo. He's looking to try and deny it. Stretch out, bleed the support right. Make sure they have no heals and straight away Dig Dog comes in with a big whirlwind, keeping everybody topped up, just allowing Hades to bully himself through. Jump onto the point, 84 to 89%. EJ is down to the wire. Yeah, good retake. Abyss have got it. We're into overtime here on this map, and this could be the deciding overtime. We won't know until the end of the round, I guess. And uh, there we go, and that takes it to three. If they can push this home, they're going to get it. Chronix picks up a nice double there. Shout out to everyone who's watching in Twitch chat, by the way. Secret Source. Ooh, I wonder what this is. Maybe one day we'll tell us what's in the secret source. Then we'll know, Skimmy, what is actually in the secret source. So well, let us know. It's definitely a key success for this uh, game. We need to know before this game finishes. As to what the secret source is, as to how maybe this team is doing so well. But look at this. Dead Dog just finding the snipes. The axes are connecting. And he is really looking for that casting role in the next movie. But it's really funny that gets hooked in there. He might just come out in time. And it does. He manages to somehow get away clutching it onto very little HP. Yes, it's now going to be Eevee that joins up in the front line, really trying to burst out this tunnel, cause some confusion, try and get some damage out there. And the Joel's once again sitting in the back, posturing quite nicely, finding the snipes and getting the kills. Yeah, we heard the wind up, but unfortunately it didn't work for Bark. He got shut down, and uh, they're totally out of ultimates as well, the boys from Avant Garde. And we've got two, Fernando and Eevee, you've got theirs waiting. They have stopped the cart though, so great work here, just out the front of the base. They've got the cart to a grounding hole. And here come the boys from Abyss now. They've got it moving forward. Fernando, the Josh can go. Hey, John Fernando. He's doing a great job pushing this uh, cart through. And they're going to walk this one in, I think, Skimmy. One minute, five seconds on the clock. Yeah. Ample time. And we're almost over for him. Uh, Top doing a great job. Is that a game? Top? No. Well, it's top actually, um, I thought that was popped right at the spawn point there. They combined that with the well. We didn't even need to use Immortal. It was everything combined to a T. Get the kills. Make those ultimates like we heard them in the interview before say matter. Well, I'll and see with if that, I can grab for an interview talking to interviews. I'll Pardon? see if I can get the captains on for an interview talking to interviews. Um, MVP conversations, though, Skimmy, who do you think? Um, I was I was going to go definitely for the Knesset. She was just allowed so much breathing room to really do work there. Uh, she topped the charts in terms of damage and quite comfortably too. Yeah, look, I would have to agree. I would say I saw Joel's, I believe it was, uh, just managing to snipe every... Uh, and Droxus got in the air about three or four times and every single time he went up there, he was like a clay pigeon for Joel's, just popped out of the air. Didn't give him any breathing room at all. So, yes, well done. I think we're going to have Joel Skibby, yes? Yeah, no, I mean, I think in my eyes, it was really what really allowed that comp to shine. He was giving so much backline pressure that the rest of the team could play so aggressive and um, they secured themselves a comfortable 4-0. Yeah, well done there to Abyss. Well done, Giles, getting yourself an MVP nomination. You go, now go into the running to win yourself a headset, thanks to Plantronics, the official headset sponsor of GameStar. And, of course, big thanks to our other sponsors as well, Zowie, Strive for Perfection, as well as Player.me, Challenge, and XSplit, all run by Split Media Labs. Huge ups to them. And, of course, High res Studios for putting on this game. But uh, that's it, Skimmy, for the Hey Pal for week uh, week number one, it took it took a while in the end, but these standings uh, they're looking chunky. Yeah. All right. So we've got um, Hades from Abyss here has joined us on the cast. And, um, <laughs> oh, you work that out later when you listen back. By the way, Hades, because um, some dudes in Twitch were trolling hard that we were getting your name wrong. Or was it in Discord? Either way, we got it right, and I'm pretty sure yeah, of that. It's, it's Hades. Hades. <laughs> Mm, you too have a disease, but that's okay. You don't have to haze it. All right, Hades, you uh, convincingly won that map there, four nil over Avant Garde, and unfortunately, Avant aren't able to join us tonight. But hopefully, next time uh, they'll be able to. 
Uh, now, I've got to ask you the comparison. High res semi finals, GameStar, Hey Power. Pretty equal. Yeah, it? It, was, it reminded me of the Sydney Land, you're right. <laughs> 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 all right so hey how did the boys enjoy the night here anyway the swiss format and the uh, first week of the gamestar summer 17 series for paladins yeah it's really good it's pretty much the first time all the teams have had a chance to verse each other and really rank each other properly because the previous formats have just been leagues and eliminations and some teams haven't got to verse each other but now they have the yeah. chance to prove who's the best yeah, it's a great thing that over the uh, the, the uh, weeks ahead that we'll see through this Swiss format, uh, particularly the league table. And don't forget, you can check out the league table on www.gamestar.com. Uh, it's usually up in the next morning, so you'll check that out tomorrow, and that'll be good. Kid Fox, Skimmy, any questions for Hades? Hades, I was going to touch base briefly on the Knesset pick. It just seemed that he was having so much breathing room to work around, getting sniped left, right, and centre. He got to, taken out only twice. And it was from a Charlin straight arrow from what I could see there. But do you think Knesset really relies on certain team comps? Or is it just a, a matter of a play style? Uh, yeah, we use the strategy we used at HRX. It's You basically get the Eevee and then you pick Knesset and you bait them into picking Buck. And you pick the counters to Buck. So they see the Knesset and they go, oh no, we need a flanker. And they pick Buck, but Buck's terrible against all the other champions we picked. Like the Grover can... <laughs> axe him and then he can't jump out so once he jumps in he's dead snap the mind games. games very clever and thanks for giving the insight by the way it's one of the things to help the scene develop is when we get the good players in on the discord after the matches and get that high level insight into the psychology of picks and drafts and things so thanks thanks for that hats really appreciate it yep hope is not watching though <laughs> 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 well yeah, I'll... We've got to draw the mug raffle uh, crisis, I do believe. Uh, I don't know if Crisis is going to put himself on air. He's probably not going to put himself on air. He's a wallflower these days. Having said that, Crisis is casting on Saturday with myself. We are doing the ODC qualifiers for the Rocket League portion of the GameStar Summer 17 series. So you'll hear the original uh, Rocket League duo of Kit Fox, uh, sorry, EJ and Crisis uh, this Saturday. Now, mug raffle. How are we going, Crisis? Who's won the mug raffle? Snuggle Waffles has won the raffle. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause to him. And uh, Kid Fox, he'll be a pretty happy camper to have won himself a mug. Oh, absolutely. I've got myself one of those mugs thanks to Ronnie's custom gear. And I drink my coffee out of it every single morning. Sometimes I make my coffee with Red Bull instead of milk. And uh, I can hear colours. It's great. It's absolutely fantastic. But yes, well done to Snuggles Waffles. Now... Producer Crisis has got himself an old version of the standings up on screen, so we might have to refresh that. But I'm going to run you through them, ladies and gentlemen, for the first Hey Pal Summer 17 round. Abyss, of course, are the winners on 5 and 0. Not really a big surprise there, but you have to hand it to the teams that they played against. Empire Paladins coming in second place for the night at 3 and 2. Kings, they finished the night in third on 3 and 1. Corvidaire and Instant Epidemic tie for fourth and in fourth and fifth on two and two. Avant Garde and Psionic are sixth and seventh, and poor Amigo five, unable to pick themselves up a win tonight. Hopefully that doesn't deter them, and hopefully we see them next week. Skimmy, any final words? Just a pleasure to try something new tonight. I had a lot of fun and got to see some uh, high level games. Well, that's the thing uh, with something new. You never know if you like it until you try it out. And I'll tell you what, once these bugs are ironed out, I can tell you that I'm going to absolutely love Paladins. But EJ, that's it from us here tonight. It's back to you. It is. Thank you, uh, Kid Fox. I know I tried it, and I much preferred syrup to jelly. You're probably the same yourself, listeners, and uh, hopefully you are. Now, we'll be back on Saturday with the Rocket League portion of the Summer Series, as I said. It will be starting early in the morning, so tune in, check GameStar and Twitter for updates and details. I want to thank all the teams and players for turning up tonight. We hope to see you all back next week. We had eight teams this week. Let's round up some more after tonight's fantastic action. Uh, we were the second most watched stream on Twitch for Paladins tonight. We want to be number one next week, so let's push for more teams and get this competition rocking for Paladins in Oceania. Thanks to our sponsors, Hi Res, Zowie, Split Media Labs, and of course, Plantronics. Production team, admin by Agro Tank myself, and of course, Crisis on Production, Skimmy, 
and Kid Fox did the commentary. Thank you, everyone, for listening. We'll be back Saturday morning with the Rocket League portion of the Summer Series. See you next Thursday night as well for more Paladins.